There is a legal theory arguing that Donald Trump is constitutionally disqualified from running for president on grounds that it would violate the 14th Amendment. It's based on a little-known provision that bars people who have engaged in an insurrection from holding government office. It, it isn't just legal scholars kicking this theory around, but also elected officials, like Colorado Secretary of State Jenna Griswold, who told Politico there have been conversations among other secretaries as well. The issue has intensified in Griswold State, where the group Citizens for Responsibility and Ethics in Washington filed a lawsuit on behalf of the six voters, four Republicans and two unaffiliated, seeking to remove Trump from the ballot in that state because of his role in the insurrection on January 6th. Joining me now is Colorado Secretary of State Jenna Griswold, who also chairs the Democratic Association of Secretaries of State. Secretary Griswold, thank you for being here. The group seeking to remove Trump from the ballot declares that it would be improper and a breach or neglect of duty for you as Secretary of State to allow his name to appear on any future primary or general election ballots. Talk about the lawsuit and how you plan to address it. Well, first, thank you for having me on. It's always great to see you. Uh, and what we are facing is a lawsuit alleging that Donald Trump is disqualified from the Colorado ballot for inciting the insurrection and trying to steal the election in 2020 from the American people. Now, this is a somewhat novel issue, but there is a provision of the Constitution, Section 3 of the 14th Amendment, that clearly states that when someone swears to uphold the Constitution, they are disqualified from office if they engage in insurrection or rebellion or comfort or aid the enemies of the Constitution. So the lawsuit is based on that provision. There is a lot of questions of exactly how that provision works. And that's why I'm so glad to see, a, a, honestly, a lawsuit filed, because a court needs to weigh in. You know, Secretary, the 14th Amendment has been publicly, has been discussed publicly for a while, but this is a challenge officially filed against Trump. Um, it's also voters who initiated the suit. Um, that, that doesn't fit the profile. Well, the, 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 he calls them, Trump calls them um, radical left communists. These are the people who Trump's claiming who are behind these charges. But the folks who are bringing, um, bringing suit, or not bringing suit, but the, some of the legal scholars who are pushing this, they're from the Federalist Society. These are conservatives. These aren't radical left communists, right? That's right. And we all know that President Trump is a liar. The voters who brought this suit are Republican and unaffiliated voters. Uh, these are the people who brought this suit. And I think it's an important uh, lawsuit that hopefully will add clarity to election officials all across the nation. There are some things that are very unclear about how the, the uh, Section 3 of the 14th Amendment is enforced. So, for example, if someone is disqualified, are they barred from running for office or just being seated in office? Who gets to make those decisions? How does Colorado law uh, execute the Constitution? These are all really big questions. Um, but to, to the, the point of Donald Trump exaggerates and lies, there's a, a bigger issue that is the basis of the lawsuit. He incited the insurrection and tried to steal the election from the American people. There's a lot of questions about if that affects his ballot access, and that's something that I hope a court will decide and provide guidance to secretaries of state all across the nation, but specifically in the state of Colorado, uh, in, in particular as how that U.S. Co constitutional provision relates to Colorado law. Mm -hmm. Um, Secretary, what are, are other Secretary of State saying about the 14th Amendment question? Is there unanimity, unanimity of agreement or is there some dissension, particularly among maybe um, fellow Democrats? Well, only a handful of secretaries of state have made comments so far. I think maybe five that I'm aware of. Um, but I, I think that the bigger picture is that this litigation, this lawsuit, may play out over various parts of the presidential election. And for your viewers, uh, just know that this may not be resolved before the primary. This lawsuit may be brought again if Trump is the nominee. It may be brought mm -hmm. again if he wins the presidential election. But no, this is just one lever, one variable that will affect the 2024 election. 
And what gives me a lot of hope through all of the situation, the attack on democracy, is that Americans themselves will have the opportunity to choose between democracy and chaos yet again. Mm -hmm. And they have been deciding uh, to choose democracy over and over and over in recent times. Colorado's Secretary of State Jenna Griswold, thank you very much for coming to The Readout.